Okay, I think we're live. Okay, yep, volume's up. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. My name is James. And this is Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> I call her Tanya because that's how she introduced herself to me or didn't correct me. So she's joined me today because Darcy is not able to be here this week. Um, He's usually here every second Friday, but he's been here every Friday. No, still every second Friday. But this is his week off, so I've brought in Tanya <laughs> to help me out play some video games today. And we're going to play three games. Um, we're going to play A-Star and Assembloids and Elevators Amiss. And Assembloids is, I think pretty brand new. I think it came out last year. And they're all... Nope, 2016. So a little bit older than that. And I just need to point out, I think it has a pretty amazing uh, pretty amazing cover art. Um, has that real kind of geometric um, spray paint kind of mm. art look to it. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah really I'm really impressed nice. with... I have no idea what this game is about based <laughs> on, on the cover. It yes. looks like a gigantic robot that's pulling its organs out so uh, we'll have to see we'll, we'll have to based see based on the name assembloids uh, assembling okay. androids okay. or yeah yeah it something like cool. that um i've barely played it actually i've barely played all of them i haven't played the first one mm -hmm. so it'll be all new for me um in previous sessions i have played some of them but these barely all so this will be fun brand new oh and uh gretums is in the chat. Hi, Gretams. Hello. She says Tanya. <laughs> we know Gretams. Yes, That's we do. very cool. Yeah. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. Um, let us know if the sound is bad or low. Check, check, check. Um, everything looks good. The microphone looks good. I don't know about the video game sound, but it looks like the volume's right. We won't know till we get going on that. Um, so the first one up is A Star. Oh, that turns off. We don't want that. I'm trying to keep uh, notice of the chat. Interesting. Um, on my tablet, so we can say hello. Oh, it uh, just crashed. Interesting. <laughs> so usually what Darcy and I do is we play the game without the instructions. Okay. Um, and then try and figure it out, see how intuitive it is. Okay. Um, because back in the day, we didn't have instructions for the games because we pirated a lot of games. <laughs> or they didn't come with it. We played like Atari games we just bought at a secondhand store and put them in and we had no instructions. And some of them were impossible to play because we didn't have instructions. Yeah. Um, but I think it's more fun that way. Like well, it's discovery. Yeah, and my experience is less with the Atari, but I had a Commodore 64 growing up. Yes. And almost all of the video games that we played were... Um, my dad got through his friend through a BBS site, and and they right. they were just copied onto a disc, and we would just put them in and just try to figure out what you were supposed to do. So, yeah. so yeah, like that is very authentic, I think, to this this era of gaming was. There was a lot of piracy back then, so. Uh yeah, yeah. not as much now with Steam. It's just more accessible, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, back then it was all piracy, was all especially piracy. with um, <laughs> Commodore 64, which was on discs and you could just oh, yeah. easily copy it. And copy it, it and, and share share yeah. software. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I had a Commodore 64 as well. Yeah. And we bonded over our love of Commodore yes. 64. Yeah. And this oh, is. There we go. Yeah, I just have to point out this is probably the, my favorite game from my childhood, which is Impossible Mission. Yes. And. Um, which you completed? Yes, well, I I wouldn't say I was a huge gamer when I was young, but I definitely played video games uh, and computer games. But this was one game that I was very dedicated to and um, completed both Impossible Missions 1 and 2 when I was about 10. So. And it's kind of a mix between an action and a puzzle game. Like a, a good, good balance. Between. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to go through multiple rooms, collect puzzle pieces, and then put them together yeah. with, within a certain amount of time. Yeah. So it's kind of heavy on both because you do have to avoid things and not get shot and yeah. zap zapped by robots. Yeah. There's that a lot robot. of there's a lot of strategy <laughs> involved in in um, um, 
trying to because you're timed so you yes. have to complete everything within a certain amount of time but every time you die it cuts i think 15 minutes off of seven hours or something like that yeah so it's all about conserving your time so that you can finish the puzzles but also get all the puzzle pieces um going into different rooms and searching objects so yeah. so yeah that was probably one of my favorite games i played that game a lot but i never was able to get all the puzzle pieces oh. most of them so that i just ran out of time because yeah, yeah. every death is a lot of time. It's a lot it's either of time. five or 15 minutes. It's like 15, that. I think. 15? Yeah, and That's it's out of seven hours. But <laughs> it's, it's yeah, so, yeah. It's a fun game. It is a good game, yeah. Um, so the first one up is A-Star. So let's switch over to that. Um, if we're out of sync, watch this. Is that Was that in sync? Me clapping my hands? Hopefully. I've tried to get it perfect. Last time, disaster. Disaster, but I've honed the system down, did a little practice earlier today with wall jump ninja you can see that posted um so yeah let me know in the chat if everything's going well and we're going to switch over to a star now and uh thing you notice immediately is there's pac-man <laughs> on the screen nice. which is mm, i don't know it's not pac-man but uh i'm gonna give that to oh, you no. okay <laughs> you know as much about this game as i do um Oh, it's usually that button. Oh, I... okay. oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Let me just turn up the sound of it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, weird. So. You only appear to very... be able to. Um... Can't stop. You can't stop. So which, you can't. Which happens in Pac-Man. You can't stop in Pac-Man. You can turn around, but you can't stop in Pac-Man. Okay, well, I think I've already made a vital error, and I've lost. Oh, <laughs> uh, because you can't turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't turn. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I well. did watch a little video on this beforehand, and it is the middle button, not that button. Oh. Oh. Oh, weird. So you're moving the... The square now? How did you move the square? Just by pressing the button? Yeah, uh, you switch B. B switches it so you can move the square. Can you stop the square? Or does the square move no, like the, the Pac-Man? No, the square moves like the Pac-Man. Okay. Okay, this is going to take a second, I think. Weird. Okay. Ooh, I know. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> Let's see if you can see it. I think the camera's up a little too high. Okay, good. The sound is good. Almost. You're almost getting it. I'm totally, yeah. Do you want a hint? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the slowest game ever because I don't <laughs> no. like taking hints. <laughs> I guess the good thing, I, I picked these games because they were all kind of puzzly games and i knew you'd, you'd like them uh, yeah and obsess over them possibly <laughs> yeah you might be um, here for a while usually you get in trouble oh uh, man uh, even even nowadays homebrew um using licensed characters and and this has definitely got some licenses happening here even though they're not called pac-man i'm sure but that's a pac-man and those are cherries from Pac-Man. So it's got a theme, at least on this level. Maybe it changes character. Um, and the Pac-Man moves like pac I mean, it's a good Pac-Man. Way better than the Pac-Man from back when the 2600 was out. Because that Pac-Man was not good. At least the characters in the maze. This Pac-Man is a lot more realistic. And it can change directions. Maybe I should have gone first. <laughs> this is only level one. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh, you got it. Yay! I'm gonna get there eventually. <laughs> that actually was. I want to start solution. over though. Oh well, there's, all, there's often more than one I, solution. The video I saw actually took uh, kept score of how many moves you made. Oh really? But I don't see. Oh, maybe the... this is like the trial. 
<laughs> Maybe this first level they doesn't it doesn't keep track. I I still I still want to start over though because I think I, there are cherries I should have gotten before. <laughs> nope, you get to play again after Aww. you die. But I, I, I don't. I, can you die? I don't think you can. I guess you can. You just keep. Okay, I, I want to start over now. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, can you? There we go. See, there is a zero. Oh, that's funny. It disappeared. It did disappear. That is very strange. Wonder why okay. it would disappear. Oh, I see. Yeah, that oh, is now weird. Now it's still here. That's really weird. Maybe there was a glitch in the game or something. Huh. Ah! There we go. <laughs> hmm. And the, the graphics are really, really, really good. Um, great uh, colors. It's not just straight greens and reds on the cherries. It's like a shading of red. That's one really good thing about um, the homebrews nowadays. They use all the tricks that they've learned over the years and like use the best of the tricks. And the walls kind of are round. They look rounded because of the shading. Um, it's very hard to change colors midline but every line you can do a new color very easily um, because there's enough time between ah and strawberries which is the second level mm -hmm. of pac-man or at least P miss pac-man mm. um, now mm. it is counting oh it counts per level because oh, it started off at zero again You have to move that square out of the way. Hmm. No, I don't want to. <laughs> A lot of strategy going on. Well, I need to think about it. Talk your way through it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Because it's not only the Pac-Man that you have to use strategy for. You have to use the Pac-Man to get the dot out as well. No. Because the dot doesn't stop midway. Like now, how can you get that dot out without using the Pac-Man to get the dot out? Well, we'll see. Right? It just goes in a loop-de-loop -loop circle. Maybe you don't need the well, that's, that's dot kind afterwards. Of, yeah. That's part of it, right? Um, is do you need it? Well, go up, get those strawberries in the corner lots of, them. <laughs> lots of time true it isn't time oh it disappears yeah i don't know what that means if if that means oh I you know what something up you went it's like no because it did a max in golf you take too many strokes oh. it, like no we're capping it at oh we're so capping you, it at a so you're t you're supposed to do it with a certain number of movements that yeah. makes sense i think it was at 32 there oh jeez. gretem says you're good Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's an old one for the audio, actually. Are we still good? <laughs> it does look... Oh, the video game's been muted. Well, that's not good. The video game? Yeah. <gasps> Nobody told me. No, it, it... There is not many sounds in the video game, but they, they couldn't hear it. The video game? It makes noise and then now it's not making any... Well, I guess I'm not... I haven't actually Nothing's eaten happening. any strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> that would help. Yeah. Um, I think I need... Yes, audio is fine. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah easy to finish it off. That square never needs to leave that area. So you say. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. There you go. Yeah. Okay, now you should be hearing sounds from the video game. Okay, I think we should trade off. Okay, you go. <laughs> levels, we'll because this level. doesn't, uh, <laughs> this doesn't end. Oh, I know. Are these supposed to be peaches? 
Uh, they look like peaches? <laughs> they kind of look like peaches. I mean, they're a ball. I like that they, they have little gradations in color. They're not just yes. like orange balls. Yeah. Um, it's like little little detail on on even even simple graphics like this is is nice to see it helps that's for sure yeah um mm. i assume they're peaches they could be they could be marbles they could be <laughs> it's I'm, sort of hard to I, say it's been going with the pac-man theme yeah which, so would peaches be the next do recall i don't miss i don't remember i don't remember peaches being in pac-man i'm pretty sure i never <laughs> made it past strawberry when i played pac-man so <laughs> Oh. So I'm not really sure what the. There we go. One more. Uh, hmm. You've already lost your, your I know. scorekeeper. <laughs> I know. I'm guessing. I think. I think every movement of either item is is an uptick in score. That's what it yes. looks like. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, Mr. Shovel and I have been also been have different gaming styles well most <laughs> most people like different types of games yeah i mean there's common games that uh, a lot of people like like fallout and the um elder scrolls stuff they're pretty happy happy medium games yeah i uh oh. i'm playing fallout 4 right now and uh I definitely spend way too much time doing things like building settlements instead of fighting <laughs> things. See, I, I don't know how much time I put into building settlements. See, that ends up being a, a huge focus, and then I forget after a while that actually I'm supposed to be out, like... <laughs> doing things? Like, completing actual quests and, 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 you know, like, mowing down some mutants or something. And um, But I just get really into the kind of world building and, and, and that kind of thing, so... Which doesn't mean I don't involve, I don't like, you know, the mutant hunt and hunting and killing. And, <laughs> yes. Um, but I, I, I definitely, oh, good job. Good job. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't think there's, it's definitely That's all fruit. interesting. It's getting a little bit harder. I don't know how many levels well, there I are. I don't, yeah, I, it, I wonder if you hit levels where... Um, you make the wrong move and you're stuck. I. It's so far. I don't think that's been the case, but some in the, these kind of games, you you it's can. Impossible. There are irreversible moves. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, you missed that that square that you should have been against. Yeah. And it's over. Um, Look at the really nice cover on this one. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. And check out the cover um, of A Star. It has a whole bunch of of the cherries and there's two flowers on here and a pear and a pretzel and a very hidden pac-man on the cover as well i think we've made it far enough that i can read out what's happening on here a star is a puzzle game in which the objective is to collect all the items cherries ice creams etc in the shortest amount of moves of course this is your main this is your main character the the pac-man who for various reasons will be hereafter re be referred to as Bob. <laughs> it's just Bob. Not not uh, Pac-Man. Moving the joystick results in Bob moving continuously in your chosen direction until he meets either a wall or your secondary player character, who for similar reasons will hereafter be re referred to as Alan, because that's a power pellet mm. in the original Pac-Man. Is it yellow? Are the dots in Pac-Man yellow or white? I think they're yellow. Alan moves in a similar fashion to Bob, except that he doesn't collect items. Uh, Alan's job is to help Bob reach the items that he couldn't get to on his own by acting as a movable wall. It's very, like, barely similar to um, Portal. <laughs> yeah, kind of, in, a, in, a, yeah. in a weird way that... that the square is kind of your portal that helps mm. you. I mean, it doesn't transport you. I've actually seen early um, prototypes of Portal for the 2600. Um, mm -hmm. It's very difficult with one button because you have to place two different things. Um, but they're working on it. I don't think there was a finished version of it. And of course, they'd have to change the name. 
To start the game, either press reset or s select or the joystick fire button. Okay, so far we've figured out all of this. Um, which, which usually is a good sign for a game, that it's intuitive. Move your character around with the joystick and press the fire button to switch control between Bob and Alan. Uh, the character that you're continu currently in control of is displayed at the bottom right of the screen. Yes. Every move either character makes is logged on the counter at the bottom left of the screen. Each level has a target number of moves that you should try to collect the items in. So far you're at 26 and it hasn't disappeared yet. This is a much harder one. Uh, if you should exceed that total, the move counter display dims. It doesn't dim, it goes it, away. It, it disappears. <laughs> there are no immediate penalties for failing, though you will still have to live with your shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's Bob, Alan, uh, items, walls, move counter, and current character. Actually, there's a problem with when it goes away, where when you, like right now, it just went away. Um, now you can't tell who you're in control of. Not that it matters, because you're not, you're, it's over. Yeah, that's true. It does. It, it would be uh, nice to keep that on the screen. It's oh, it is dimmed. It is. It's dimmed. like super, super it could dim. Could be our screen, but yeah. It could be, but it's like it's still there. Wow. Can they? No, it is there. It's, you can see it on the stream. Probably it's like really, really dim. Maybe I need to change the settings on the TV. Uh, at any time, you may mm -hmm. press reset. Okay, or select, or select to move to the next level. Oh, cheating. So you can give up on the level. Toggling the left difficulty switch will undo the last move. Wow. That's really cool. Unless you collected an item in that move. The right difficulty mm. switch toggles the game's fade effect between levels. Oh, I gotta try that. Uh, okay, that didn't seem to do anything between levels. Uh, hold down reset and select to return to the title screen. Okay. So game program by Aaron Curtis, uh, label art and manual by Devin, uh, David Exxon, cartridge and manual manufactured by Atari Age. Shout out to Atari Age. <laughs> the author would like to give a special thanks to the members of Stella, the Stella List and the Atari Age Homebrew Forum for all their helpful comments and the author of D-Star which inspired this game. Oh, interesting. I have not heard of D-Star, so I'm guessing it's similar, maybe on a different platform, or somebody that started this on the 2600 and didn't didn't quite finish it. Very, very cool. Hmm. Is the game making a bloop sound? Otherwise I can't hear anything from the game itself. Uh, it rarely makes a sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you get something. It did make a little musical musical thing. Actually, do I hear something? I seem to hear something now. No, no. I'm hearing something else. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Um, did anybody, can you hear the doo doo ding? Doo doo ding? Hopefully. I can see it coming up on uh, the screen here. Two more to go. <laughs> That's a toughie. Hmm. Hmm. No ding. Hmm. That's not good. That doesn't make any sense. That the sound isn't coming up. I'll check. No, everything looks good. Oh, 
Not that this game makes a lot of noise. No. We almost <laughs> but, need to put on something that makes more noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll test it after this, but um, it should be good. Is it still in sync? With our mouths moving and me snapping and clapping. <laughs> Giving up? Yeah, you want to figure it out? I'll give it a try. All right. Or you can always hit select and move on to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> can you switch while one's moving? No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. That'd be pretty cheaty. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. It's okay. I think. Oh, it is still counting. Is it? Yes. What is it on? <laughs> 98. Uh oh. <laughs> That's sure, not that's good. not. Uh. Yeah, the difficulty is <laughs> figuring out a way to get the box in the middle somewhere and getting uh. getting both of them in there, which I'm not sure is possible unless <laughs> I'm missing something. Oh no, no, it is. Oh, I like, don't know. This guy just travels around. I can't get him. Yeah. Anywhere. You know, part of it too is that guy, if it hits an apple, is blocked by it. Yeah. So there might there there also could be a sequence to get the apples, whereas you want to keep an apple in one place so you can move the box. So you know what I mean? Like there yeah. there could be some use of that kind of logic there too. Ooh. How can I use this? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the question? Huh. This seems like I could do something. But I can't. <laughs> I'm so close. Uh, but he can't, like, maybe if I, like, go up? You, yeah, I. you need... That's not helping. Going down. Oh, maybe this? Because this puts them in different positions. <laughs> Still can't get any apples. Uh, uh, oh, maybe this? Yes! Oh, yes. good job. Oh. Good Kay. job. There's sound registering in there. <laughs> There's a little music that played. Did did it play music? Little little after the level was finished. Good job. Oh, I did hear it. I heard it here, so I need to just turn it up. It's just really quiet. There we go. No wonder you didn't hear it. Okay, let's get all the easy ones. Well, that one's an easy one. Yeah, that one is. <laughs> that one is. Oh, uh, yeah. And I wow, failed already. That's, that's not many moves. Is that like the the optimal? It I must think so. Be. I think that's probably the minimum number of moves you can you can use to to. That's in the level, so. crazy. So this strikes me as the kind of game <laughs> that I could start playing and like 12 hours later still be trying to to win each level yes. within, within the number of moves. It's a pretty fun little game. Yeah. Um, 2600 is kind of good for that, that it limits you to simple. Like you can only make simple games. Go. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> you think you get somewhere? But oh, you, no, no, no. Oh, no, you can't do that. But can you me. don't get somewhere? Yeah. Hmm. So close. Hmm.
Oh, I got it. Except I just screwed it up. That's okay. Move that back. Move that back. No. I thought that would help. Mm. Oh, I know. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. That's so funny. Ah, game sound. Good. You heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to block... Dave <laughs> with Bob or whatever their names are. Alan. Alan. Uh, I can't remember. Pac-Man. Uh, somehow I need to get that dot on that level. Uh, oh, I got it. I got it, I got it, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, move the Pac-Man there. Move the dot down. Move the dot over. Move Pac-Man up, over, down, and over. Yay! Now it's your turn. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now we are on pretzels. It doesn't say how many levels there are, but there's definitely a finite a <gasps> number of levels. I didn't quite get they were pretzels. Oh. That is super cute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They could be puppies with little, <laughs> little eyes and little front legs. Yeah, they kind of do. Little smiley what puppies? Are those? The, 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 Pugs? The, no, the really wrinkly ones. Oh, wrinkle dogs. I don't know. <laughs> uh... Like, really wrinkly dogs? Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Chat, please tell us wrinkly dog names. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's definitely an end to this game. Because these are all, like, purpose-built levels. Um, and they probably don't repeat. We haven't been to the ice cream level. So we haven't definitely haven't... Um, this is not the last level. Sharpe? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Gretams. <laughs> <laughs> when was this game put out? It does not say. Let me look it up. A star, Atari age. So this game was put out in 2006. So 12 years ago. Oh. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I know how to get those pretzels at the bottom. Oh, you did it a different way. Good. <laughs> Two more to go. Hey, you are doing pretty good. It just disappeared. Yeah. And there's two left. Yeah. That's, uh... Get those Sharpays. You <laughs> <laughs> don't normally go for... Um, puzzle games too much. I do enjoy them. I usually go for shooters or platformers. Um, games like that. Like shmups. So, did you play games in the arcade ever? Did you go to arcades? Not really. I, it always seemed like people who put quarters and machines were suckers you know like <laughs> well, they're it, it, i'm not saying the games weren't good but i i never really hung out at arcades well it you had a uh, game system at home 
Right. You had a yeah. Commodore. Yeah. So you wouldn't have would to play pay for home. games. Yeah. You could just play them at home. Yeah. And so I didn't I didn't play too much. I played before I got the Commodore 64. I think after that, almost never put a, a quarter. And that's definitely why arcades don't exist anymore. For the most part. Because everybody has... Uh, definitely better or equivalent to arcade machines in their living rooms. Mm. So why would you pay extra when you've already paid to have it at home? But considering the cost of a game system at home, say a system plus one game could be anywhere from like around four or five hundred dollars. Of course, games don't cost a quarter anymore. They cost about a 50 cents to a dollar. You get 600 plays. Yeah, playing at home still is much more cost effective. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, I definitely did not play Pac-Man in the arcade because I died way too quickly. Um, I'm much better at Pac-Man now than I ever was back then. Um, mostly because I never played it. And the 2600 didn't have a really good proper Pac-Man. Um, the C64 had a pretty good Pac-Man, but and then I would never play it in the arcade um, after I got that. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm not too bad at it. Um, and of course there's you can totally look online of all the patterns of the ghosts and the best pattern to complete the mazes and stuff on the internet. Um, but back then you could only learn from the people in the arcade. Uh, Gretem says, we've got a few arcade bars out here. They're nice. all right, but kind of hipstery <laughs> in the bad way. In the bad way. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have one in Vancouver on Granville Street. Um, I've heard it's possibly on its way out. Yep, yeah, Granville oh. Arcade. Um, ooh. Is it a bar? Or isn't it? Or did it, is arcade. it now? Or is, I thought it was just an arcade. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't really mix video games and bar. And people have been trying to open up um, an arcade slash bar in Vancouver, but the bylaws from a million years ago to protect the children, <laughs> because children <laughs> play in children. arcades but children don't play in arcades oh there's a cat at the door you want to let, let the kid, oh, kitty in okay fine you see if you can figure out those last few pretzels so this is our kitty yeah this is atari and we have another kitty pixel but pixel's a lot more trouble when he comes in so yeah he likes to just get into everything. Yeah. Knock stuff off. Um, Walk all over the place. Yeah. Probably would stop the stream if he could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd chew on a cord or... Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't really... You can kind of see him. You want to shift you, over? Give me a pillow. Here. Oh. Think he'd sit on a pillow? He might. Come here. Uh, appropriate pillow. Come here, buddy. There. So he's three years old? Three years old. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's about three He's now. one of the friendliest kitties ever. Yeah. Well, that's much better. There we go. That's a good kitty. And he's definitely named Hi. after the Atari 2600. Yes. Because you know you have to play with your Atari today. <laughs> every day. He'll force you to do it. Yes. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I can't get... The block down there well you probably have to play them off each other somewhere. yeah i think I and it get... might be a number of moves right um i think i have to get the pac-man back up there to get the block down there there we go okay well you can get but, the block down there but, but then... now do, how do i get the pac-man down again because it's the same issue now that i have the block so you kind of have to get them down at both helping each other down yeah, like, I'm sure there's, I'm sure. Like, there we go. Like, that doesn't help, though. No. Oh. 
Okay. There. That but gets then, you one down. Then I can't get the block down. I can get the Pac-Man down. That's definitely the solution. Maybe if I try it on this side. Oh, Gretam says she can hear him purring. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a we, sensitive mic right there. <laughs> we, are, we are using a professional microphone that's used in the yeah. film industry. Yeah, and, and that noise never stops with this guy. <gasps> oh, I've oh. got the block down, but now... Yeah, that's... I can't get the Pac-Man down because he's... Uh... Stuck. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, there. That, that... Now I've got both of them down. You do? Yes. See? So? So. <laughs> now I have to be very careful not to let them back up. No, but I mean it. it yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's, there's the other cat trying to get in. <laughs> there's nothing a cat hates more than being one cat being in the room and him being left outside. Excluded. So. Oh, yeah. no, no. Oh, are you going to attack his paws? Hmm? Okay. Uh, so. I, I'm kind of... getting there I got it nope. yeah do I uh well no <laughs> okay if you if you put the dot up and the pac-man up now move mm. Mm -mm. oh yeah because you can't you need to do the reverse of what you've done there you need the Pac-Man up and the dot on the other side of him. If that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I try okay. something? Yes, yes. Uh, I haven't uh, even got that one on the top right corner. I've been trying to get the pretzel on this side. I can never tell which one I'm okay. Hi, shovel. <laughs> Hello. Ha ha ha. Oh, you got it. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, One more to go. <laughs> holy smokes. I don't think this one will be quite as hard for some reason. <laughs> I don't but know. I'm glad you don't think it'll be. <laughs> um, I can't guarantee that. This has got to be the most boring playthrough anyone can watch because you're just sitting here looking at <laughs> looking at a puzzle screen. Uh, hmm. Puppies. Come on. Come on, Tari. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's just out of frame. Let's get up on the pillow so the people can see you. There we go. There we go. Are you going to lay on the pillow? There we go. That's nice. Hi. I think we'll move uh, on after this level. <laughs> I, I agree with you, yeah. We've got the idea of the game. <laughs> oh, you got it? Or No, you don't. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Pac-Man down. Yeah. Oh. No. 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 <laughs> no. Okay. No. Still do it. Pac-Man down. Dot over. Pac-Man up. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Woo. All right. You won. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Okay. 
So let's uh, switch. Oh. Switch over. Okay, turn it off. Pop it out. And now we're going to do. Uh, let's do a more actiony one this time. We're gonna do it a bit out of order, but that's okay. Yes. Yes. Atari wants to play. He wants to play <laughs> as well. So there you go. Yeah. We're gonna play elevators a miss. Hello, sheep trees. Yep. Turn on. All right. He's... Oh, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see how that's going. I'll wait till it kicks in. There we go. Okay. You want to start with this one? Uh, sure. So, Elevator's a Miss. It looks like there is a French maid at the bottom left corner of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I would nope. have said Alice in Wonderland, except not quite the right blue and she's blonde, but... Uh, yes. Yeah, it does um, look like a French maid. Definitely. Okay. Oh, there's a countdown timer. Oh, the music doesn't stop. And like Pac-Man, you can only change directions. And I died. May have to kick Atari out. Yeah, he seems to be <laughs> uh, going after the soundboard, so... safe and you've got to make it up to the top oh, oh are you okay oh. buddy you okay Something like that okay you all right? like that. yeah he's getting into things cats get bored and they gotta go oh so it seems pretty simple <laughs> dodge the uh, elevators uh, simple, yeah. Simple premise. Not saying easy. <laughs> <laughs> you do get seven lives. Oh, well, that's good. Or nine. I've already lost some. This feels very Frogger-like to me. Uh, yeah, it's got shades of Frogger, that's for Although sure. Although Frogger doesn't move continuously. Although no, everything going around it does, but... Yep. Maybe it's the music, too. The Frogger is very... Uh, I mean, the music is very Frogger-like. Oh, oh, she moves continuously, even yeah. up the stairs. Oh, that was a mistake. It gets actually harder at... Oh, my goodness, I'm just doing terrible. Um, in the middle, because you only get half the time. I keep making the same mistake. Oh, my goodness. Ah, this is going to be more challenging. Actually, the elevators move at different speeds because now they've ungrouped themselves, which makes it a lot easier. Whoa. Wait for it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. It's kind of nice at the end of the level because it gets a little bit easier. Well, there's more time between... <laughs> the time... When, when it, it leaves and it, it comes back up, right? Yeah. Yeah. You do have to waggle your joystick. <laughs> okay. Good job. Level, Level one two. is done. Okay, the easy part. I don't know how this is more difficult. Just different. Speeds of the elevators are not as constant. On this one, some are slower, some are faster. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I, I do quite like how run, she's run, 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 run. how she's animated, like her, her. Oh, she's she moves really fast. I, I just discovered pressing the button makes her move makes really her fast. Makes her move oh, fast. So okay. That will definitely help me now. I like how her skirt like <laughs> jiggles. Jiggles as she walks. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Go. <laughs> Oh, that helps a lot. Oh, my goodness. That's going to make this game a lot easier. Oh, 
Yeah, her apron. Mm-hmm. I don't know why she would be walking around where elevators can hit her. <laughs> It feels a little bit, like, Downton Abbey-esque, you know? <laughs> Although, well, I guess in the 20s they had, what was it, the 20s, 30s? They, yeah. they would have had elevators. Not self-operating ones. Probably somebody would not. Have to, somebody would have to yeah. operate them. Well, or, they, or no. They, or they yeah, been, they wouldn't have had self-operating. They would have. They, or they might have. They would have had electricity. Yes. But. Yeah, that's a good point. It might have been a holdover. I just I have... feel like there's a Downton Abbey tie-in somehow. Maybe it's like the cut of her hair and and oh. and her in the big skirts, but I, that's probably unlikely. Um, probably. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it, uh, Atari Twenty Six Hundred programmers <laughs> are. Well, maybe lot. they are. Maybe they're sitting around discussing the latest episode of Downton <laughs> Abbey, um, and Darn. and figuring out how they can incorporate it into their into their video game development. But. Maybe. <laughs> Have to wait for a Downton Abbey game. Yeah. Level three. Uh, so I'm doing this. So what? What was speed run? Was uh, it just B? The B. That's the one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm already panicking, <laughs> and I'm not moving. Oh, is it over? Gotcha. Yep. So I didn't find that the the time was a big factor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that <laughs> was time, very smart. The time was a big factor. It's more, it's more just. Oh, not, you're losing. You're losing score. Yeah, so you can't sit around. Well, so you say. <laughs> it's a very uh, arcadey thing to do. Most games, most um, video games now don't have a timer, and have unlimited oh, lives. Jeez. Yeah, that's true. Because, gamers are weak. <laughs> no, it I, is. I, I, yeah. I mean, it is more I think, fun. I think, I think it's about the enjoyment of yeah. the game, right? And I think there's more playing into that vice of like, okay, well, what do people want? They want to be satisfied. Oh, so close. Um, have it, have. They want the satisfaction <laughs> of not dying and running into <laughs> elevators all day long. Uh, no, I think they want to feel a certain level of satisfaction, and Unlimited Lives kind of keeps you continuously playing, you know? Yes. Um, also, games, well, aren't as hard. Yeah. Have endings, because these games in the 80s, in 70s and 80s, um, didn't have endings. They just got faster and faster and harder and harder. So there's no point in having unlimited lives. And most of them were... Our, and the factor of them being originally in the arcade. <laughs> um, because they want you to die. They want the game to have an ending. Yeah. And most of the games were ports from the arcade. Oh. Actually, your time runs out and you don't die. Because there is no more time left. I, you just... You get no score. Yeah. That must just be... <laughs> your bonus is gone. Or your big bonus at the end of the level. Is it weird that I want to find the mysterious one route through all of them that I can just run through? <laughs> like that's that it's to just... me would be the most I don't know. Are you? I haven't given up yet. Your last life? Or are you done? <laughs> no, it's not my last. Is it? It is my last life. I'm just I don't know. It is harder in the middle though. You're absolutely right. It is harder in the middle. Yes. Than it is on, um, because you're ah, you're dodging. The way you're dodging down. them, you're dodging them up and down. Yeah, half the time. Be, yes, exactly, because they bounce off the floor. Oh, hey. sorry. <laughs> My bad. My turn. Go ahead. Did you use the run button? Or no? Uh, yes, I did a little. Okay. Yeah. So, Sheep Trees has joined us in watching the decimation of our lives. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Oof. I mean, it would be nice to find a single route, but I don't think that's going to I just, I don't know. Going to happen in this game. That was dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. I feel like there should be, like, a unified theory of... <laughs> Elevators? Of, of, ah. of how to get through the whole level without turning around. I don't know. Like there's some kind of optimal. 
I'm sure there is. I'm sure some really smart person could figure out the rates at which all the elevators are climbing and descend, descending. And, uh, possibly and pressing um, the run button at the right time. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would be called speed running. <laughs> true, true. But this looks pretty, pretty random. Whoa. I mean, I don't know when they start. I'm sure there's a start point, right? Because they all start at the bottom. Oh, did they? I think no, so. No, no. I don't know. It's no, good. I thought they... they did when it started. Ah. Oh. Doing much worse. I haven't even made past level one yet. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh. oh. Can you hear that? <laughs> Cat, cats, <laughs> cats running, are running upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> Probably not because the microphone's pointed down. Yeah. That's so funny. Now, this is a challenging game. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Good job. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, one at a time. <laughs> Hooray. Oh, one last. Oh, oh so close. I could have done it. I still have one level one, one life left. Yeah. But I'm doing worse. You shouldn't do worse. <laughs> <laughs> on your second run through. Ooh. Drop out. Oh, you... Oh, no, you didn't... Did you, where's your number of lives? Oh, two. There, two. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. I like that there's one that moves really, really slow. I don't mind that at all. I think, I think that... That's actually easier. Yeah. Kind of? Yeah. Because you don't really have to... It's almost like it's not there most yeah. of the time. Unless it's right in your path, and then it would be blocking it for a long time. Oh, oh so Almost. Close. Somehow I think, yeah, <laughs> then you have to really you have actually, to, you actually have, to, have to wait. Oh, should have gone back. So are they faster this round? Or are they just Some more out of sync? That first one is faster. But the second one seems The second like one is definitely way slower. Way slower. I think I've gotten extra lives. Maybe not. Mm, you're down to zero left. But you might when you pass the level. Uh, oh, sorry. It. Your turn. I, sh I have to make it past level three, at least. Did you make to level two? Yeah, you did. No. No. Okay. I don't think I. I no. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like this. <laughs> this weird sequence of off-putting. Ugh. They're like. There you go. I like that noise, that stair climbing noise. That's in a lot of games. Yes. Definitely a really good stair climbing noise. Ah, oh! Moved over too far to the left. I'm just trying to think of... Oh. You can't... It's like impossible to go back and forth in between two of them. I think you would need an actual joystick rather than a game To have pad. that kind of fine control. I think this game would be better with a joystick. Because then you could go really fast. I think it's a lot harder to do the back and forth with a, a gamepad. So we're using a Sega Genesis controller. <laughs> oh. Um, which is better, I find, for most games. For this one, mm, I would think a joystick would be better. And actually, a, an arcade joystick would be even better. Um which I have some oh, arcadey like joysticks, but I don't have a full nine pin flat one. Um, oh. I would love to get one. What's that company that sells them? Oh, it starts with an E? Yeah, really, really look nice looking joysticks. Maybe one day. Yeah, I'm gonna have no points for this. <laughs> I just <laughs> nine eight seven six five. Yeah, I'm, uh... yeah. This is a good game, though. It's definitely challenging. Hard. Especially when you're in the middle levels. Oh my gosh. Oh. Animation's really good on the maid. <laughs> is that what she is? Uh, I'm guessing she's a maid. 
So let's read the she manual. She totally looks like a maid to me. Yep. She's got red hair in the picture on the oh, cover. Oh, that's okay. Her hair's kind of brown, I think, in reality. Take a look at the cover of the manual there. Oh. Oh, out of focus. There is we go. it is it entirely my own vision, or does it look like her hair is darker than her dress? Slightly darker. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Uh oh, there goes the sound. Oh, it's, do you want to start again, or do you want to move there on to the next one? No, I'm gonna do one more. Okay. You can read the manual. All right. For us. So elevators a miss. <laughs> oh, there's a whole story. <laughs> Maria likes her job cleaning rooms in the Irata Hotel. It isn't the nicest hotel. Sometimes the elevators don't work, so she has to take the stairs. And the guests that stay there aren't big tippers. But all in all, it's a nice job, a quiet job, but not today. Not only are the elevators out of order, they are out of control. Maria has to finish her rooms by the end of her shift if she wants to keep her job. Wow, that's a lot of stress. <laughs> yes. uh, but if she isn't careful, she'll end up smashed by an unruly elevator. Like, how are the elevators, <laughs> how are, oh, I almost made attention. How are the elevators hitting her? Like, in what reality do you have to walk by underneath, the underneath elevators? an elevator? <laughs> like, this is not a well set up hotel. I mean, they do fire you pretty, pretty on easily, the spot. Easily, but it's easily. the same, yeah. That is so funny. So are we missing anything that would help us out? Uh, there's quite a bit of writing. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. I feel like I'm covered in cat for now. Oh, they can't um, see your legs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can switch the difficulty levels using game select. No thanks. <laughs> uh, see game. I think it was on normal. Normal when I saw expert it. child and novice. Oh, okay. Well, we're on normal. Ah. Which is always a good start. So point. child, two elevators. What? That's really child. <laughs> novice is four, and expert and normal are seven. I think it's really nice when they include something like a uh, child level. And you do get an extra life every time you go up a level. Oh, so, wow. uh, but for expert, you only get an extra life for the first four levels and then you're on your own. Okay. Normal is you get it for the first 11 and then child and novice, it's level 99. If you can imagine it going to level 99. 99. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So yeah, the game select, I'm assuming this is normal. You've got yes. seven elevators. Yeah. And then, um... Yeah, normal expert child novice is what it cycles through. They are randomized because now the first elevator is slow. The speed of the elevators are definitely randomized between levels. Because I remember last level two, mm. the second elevator was slow. Oh. This time the first elevator is slow. So do you think they all have a set speed, but that's randomized? Like which speed... The elevator and the speed is randomized? Relative like which to the one? level, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. But within the same level, it's going to be the same amount of difficulty. Like, it'll get more and more difficult, yeah. but some randomization within that. Move it, move it, move it. Oh! oh. And zero. One more for you. Which is the difficulty? Uh, what was it? Might be A or B. No, no, there's four. Might be game select. Yep. Game select. Child. You do want it. child? Okay. <laughs> oh my God! So oh, easy. I it. <laughs> this is definitely like five-year-old level. Awesome. <laughs> Like, you should at least be on novice. Now, this is not even... It's not even challenging. Like, <laughs> no. No, come on. You have to have at least novice. Child no, is not even... I, I think even novice is too easy, to be honest. It is. Yeah. Although, I'll probably still find a way to run into <laughs> an elevator. Yeah, this is... Like, there's so much room to turn around. Oh, I look. 
I'm stopping. I'm not running continuously. Oh, well that... <sighs> that makes I... it easy, doesn't it? Um... I think the A and B might change that. You think so? Oh no, Dif difficulty switches are not used. Okay. So that doesn't do it. I was thinking that... Now where does it say about the... Stopping. Oh, in Child and Novice, games additional elevators will be added as hotels are successfully completed. Okay, so it does get harder on okay. Novice. In Novice games only, Maria can stop moving at any time. Oh, All other games... only, only Novice, not Child. No. Interesting. I like it. <laughs> It def no, it makes it a lot easier. A little too easy, I You think. almost wish the normal had this, and then the expert yes. didn't, because... Or a setting. Which... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can still find a way. Yes. That's so funny. <laughs> not, I'm not 100% paying attention. <laughs> so this was made, the code, the graphics, sound effects, and the manual text by Bob, Mag Bob, Bob. Montgomery. And the music was done by Tommy Montgomery and Bob Montgomery. So pretty much he did the whole thing by oh, himself except no, for the No, there's more. There's more. It added one. It added one. It must go up each level then. Yeah. But you can still stop. I know. Which means you are in no danger at any point in time. Well. Except while you're in an elevator. In the middle of an elevator. Which is too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. <laughs> So yeah, it does It does inch its way up to seven. Label artwork and manual layout, Nathan Strum. Cartridge production and manual printing, Atari Age. Additional thanks, Thomas Jentsks. One, one day I'll get that right. I'll hear somebody pronounce it. For lots of programming help. He's like one of the gods on the Atari Age forum. Fred Caprilli for creating Elevator Repairman. The inspiration for Elevator is a miss. So this was... It is a port from... Another, another system? Game, another system. Yeah. I haven't heard of uh, Elevator Repairman. And Rebecca, Danny, Mikey, mercy for your patience and enthusiasm. Lovely. Oh, that is nice. On the back, it has the Atari Age um, symbol for up, and then for down, it says level one as uh, elevator buttons. It's very, very cool. <laughs> That's okay. I've had enough. Okay. I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> I think we're done with this game. I do like the novice level, though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's try it on expert. Oh, you're going to try it on expert. What did expert? It's just harder? Oh, my. Right off the bat, it's harder. It's just you're at a level 10 right off the bat. There's, like, super fast ones and super slow ones. Which is horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's when you have two fast ones next to each other. I think uh, that's really hard. Yes. And you they're, have to they're get out of sync. Them. Yeah, when they're out of sync. When they're out of sync and they're fast, it's like... Ugh. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's a problem. When they're in sync, not too bad. Oh. Actually, when they're in sync, it's hard too. Mm -hmm. Because they're both moving... It almost is like they're moving at double speed. No. <laughs> Expert in the middle? Starting out? Easy. In the middle? Impossible. Oh my goodness. How's the sound volume? I can't hear. I can. The music? Oh. Because it's constant. Now we're going to get. Now we're gonna get looped. <laughs> we don't want we don't want continuous looping sound. Yeah. Okay. Let's oop. Don't need that screen. Okay, let's move on to game number three. For the night. It's Assembloids twenty six hundred. With a nice cover. Mm-hmm. There's the cover again. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's a kind lovely cover. Spray painted, like you said. Yeah. It's kind of spray painted. Never opened this. And I know I'm going to bend it. 
Like all. Oh, I didn't. Nice. Still clean. <laughs> Always gets bent. These are the worst style of boxes ever created. But they keep them authentic. At Atari age, same type of boxes. Um, new boxes or like um, Genesis boxes are the best where they're hardcover plastic ones. Ooh, there we go. <gasps> Some cartridges are just hard to get in. That sounds always a bit terrifying. Uh oh. It is. That takes a bit. Uh, it has to go through like three different systems to get on the TV. Okay. Oh, yeah. It says, oh, let's not read anything yet. Okay. And it's your turn oh, first. Um, oh. Let's reset. Make it all fair. Switch over. What is going on here? Now, I have barely played this, so I kind of know a little bit what's going on. And you've already started <laughs> recognizing what to do. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Uh... So it's frogs. You're making, making frogs. And you're trying to match up the frogs as best you can. And there's kind of throwaway piles. I wouldn't have done that one down there. Is there throwaway piles? Well, you kind of have to make a throwaway pile because you're trying to complete a blue flog frog on the left, oh, right? Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. But you don't want to just throw in a green leg. So do you on get? Yeah. No. Did so you do it? Yeah. Okay. Is that the only way to get points then? Uh, I don't. Uh, and you die if you put put. Start doing bad ones. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like a building block type oh should have gone down true <laughs> whoops <laughs> so your timer resets oh you do get something for it i thought maybe you got nothing oh for a mismatched one yeah maybe you get three out of four points kind of thing oh uh, boo. so 540 Yeah, you got 300 points for that. You get more points, yeah. You, yeah, you do get points. So the more matching-ish a frog you make, mm -hmm. the better your score is. So you only got 40 for that. The more matchy. Woo, he's oh, different. And faster. Can't delay. Ah, ah, <laughs> it's better to just throw it somewhere than to uh, run out of time because it's game over immediately. Ah, <laughs> Ooh, fail. What was this? No, what because, there? I, uh, because I put it on top of something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, now it has three in the top right corner. I don't know what that three is yet. Maybe that's a fail? How many lives? It must be a, a okay. measurement of lives. I feel like, am I getting more if they're just two colors? <laughs> uh, that was only 10 points, whatever that was. That was 40. It's hard to tell because it, it just goes so fast. Oh, I missed that one. That was three out of four. That was 40 points. Um, oh, man. That was 100 points, which was three out of four. That was 100. I don't know how many of that was. Oh, it moved on. <laughs> Woo, you almost ran out of time there. Now it's a two instead of a three in the um, top. Ugh. Oh, those are lives. Yeah, they are. Because you just ran out of time and you lost a life. So you can lose a life by putting a piece on top of another piece. That's the same. Or lose a life by running out of time. The timer does get a lot faster oh, as yeah. you move up the levels. Well, it, it was it faster seemed, to begin with. Yeah, I th it seemed to reset after I died. If that to makes... go slower after you died? Yeah, kind of. I've seen games like that where it slows it down a bit. Oh, it is getting faster. Whoa, wow. 
Maybe it's getting faster because you're getting <laughs> closer towards the end of the level. I don't know. I think maybe maybe it's the sequence of, of guys that you manage to put together. Mm. Um, oh, game over. Game over. That was fun. Yeah? Yeah. My turn. I, uh... High score. I feel like I was straining my neck through that. <laughs> sit up straight. Yeah. No, that was good. Okay. Let me give it a try. They start you off. Easier for sure. Make my throwaway pile the top one. Oh, oh. it's it's <laughs> not happening. It's yeah, it's not easy. Ugh. Yeah, see? They wrecked my frog. There you I go. I got one you frog. One. 300, 100 points for three matched i mean you're, you're you're still getting points for the ones you match it's not like uh you get zero 40 yeah i guess you do your best yeah to match up three out of four you get a hundred i don't know how many that was come on red frog ah uh, ah uh. Red frog. Oh, yeah, that's a bad thing to do, is to put one on top of the other. Yeah, that's how you lose your lose a life. Yeah. So you obviously you you're losing a life if the bar goes down and if you send the piece to the wrong box where there's oh. already a piece. Yeah. Yay! A full. I mean, the reward for a full guy it's 400, I is, think. is quite a bit more than... Oh, I should have... Now you're going really fast. <sighs> ah. I notice the timing slows when you die, so there, there must be some... Now, would it be like resetting the level, I guess? Maybe. Like Maybe you, you, you have to... Get up to a certain speed. Get a certain number of men assembled. Or, mm. or robots assembled before Total. it'll let you go to the next uh, next level. I don't know. No, nope, oh, no. Nope, so you just it's switched. not. Yeah, so that's yeah. not it. So it could just be total score because you're at 2,000. So it and must it, be it must be the, the total score. Now I'm just throwing them anywhere. It's just too... Oh, I should have put that one over there. Cause it's just too hectic. <laughs> I like this little construction guy. <laughs> the hat, yeah. Yeah. Very big graphics, um, detailed graphics in this uh, this game, and lots of colors too, without um, <gasps> without any um, flickering. Like lots of colors, which is usually hard to do that many colors on the same line. Um, but if they're spaced far enough apart, um, you can do it, which is what I'm guessing they were able to do. Uh, uh, just kind of throwing the pieces down. <laughs> can you do that? Does it just... It does. Oh, it's a little goblin. Oh, no, alien? it doesn't. Yeah, a little of robot alien dude. Cute. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. It's really hard when it starts to move really fast. It's really hard to get, like, a full color. Yes. So yeah, you, you got just 100 for 3. You just don't have time. Yeah, it's 100 for 3, 40. 40 for, like, just kind of random. Yeah. Ugh. 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 How many for that? I think 40. it was 2. 40. 40. Okay, so that's pretty much the score. It's like 40, 100, or, or 4. What was it? 300? No, 400. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay! Did I do well? Oh, I think 36. so. You beat, you yeah, beat high me score. for sure. 36, 20 at level 4. The times 4, I think. Let's read the instructions now. We play a couple games. Assembloids 2600. 
Ooh, big thick manual. Oh, nice detail. Uh, the left and right difficulty are not used. Um, and that's pretty run of the mill for um, homebrew games because they, they're, they're able to put everything in menus now. Um, they pack a menu into a 4K, um, 4K part of the ROM and then the rest of the game is in either another 4K or other memory banks. Uh, change difficulty is select, in game is exit to title. Reset starts a new game with the selected difficulty. So high score and, oh, the high score on that difficulty. So we're on difficulty three or four. Uh, one is the source window in the middle. Three is creature tile, those tiles. Oops. The bottom, timer bar, of course. Um, target windows, remaining lives, like we thought. And score at the bottom, self-explanatory. Um, yeah. So it's 300 for a full match. 100 for three matches, 400 for two matches, 10 points for nothing matched at all. So you always get points. 10 points for nothing matched? Well, So all four. colors are completely different. Yeah, all, all colors are different. Ugh. Oh, four, four creatures. So we did get to see all four creatures. Oh, the, in the total? Ro the so robot was the last Was the last creatures. Oh. Last creature. So I guess it um, flips over again. Um, to play the game, use the joystick, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when the game starts, all target windows are empty. Creature tile will appear in the source window and has to be moved to one of the target windows using the joystick lever. The joystick <sighs> button is not needed. After placing a new tile, placing the tile, a new one will appear in the source window, which again needs to be stored in one of the target windows. With each successfully placed tile, the speed at which the timer runs out increases. When losing a life, the timer slows back down again. This can sometimes be used strategically. And if you've ever watched kaboom players they actually mess up on purpose to slow the timer down it's very very similar to this um, because if you're close to getting an extra life you can die on purpose to slow the timer down i don't know if that's a good strategy for this one um with da, 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 with each successfully da, 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 da. The process repeats until all lives are lost. A life is lost if you fail to place a tile within the given time limit, or the tile is moved onto an already occupied space. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> you did Sorry, really was, well, though. I was half listening to you. So <laughs> we knew all of these. Oh, you got really close to my score. Um, if a save key or a Atari box is plugged into joystick port 2, uh, separate high scores for every difficulty will be saved. Otherwise, only one score is shown. Oh, the score, uh, the color of the difficulty would turn to gold if it matches the setting the high score was achieved in. If not, it's silver. Holding the right joystick and pressing select will exit to the title, increase the difficulty, and reset the high score that is uh, of that difficulty zero if save key and Atari Vox are plugged in. Okay. Game screen evolution. Oh, it shows um, how the game was made step by step in the manual. Um, some rejected people, rejected assembloids, um, variants of the logo, and a picture of the game code. Oh, this is a 4K game, so it was all put into um, just 4K. 4,096 bytes can be displayed as a 64 by 64 bitmap, which each pixel color according to the byte content, red areas our code, oh, green goodness. areas, our graphics, and audio stuff. <laughs> Not doing as well this time. So there you can see the code of the game right at the bottom there. If you ever wanted to copy the game. <laughs> Programming Martin Went. Uh, Enthusi. Uh, it looks like he goes by on the Atari Age uh, boards. Art and graphic design, Svent, Sven Ruthner. Original concept by Richard Davy and Ilya Melentijevic. Special thanks to Thomas Jenks. Jenk? Jensk? Oh my goodness. JTZ. He's thanked in every single one of these. Um, Albert for patience and support. Albert is the guy who runs Atari Age. Uh, Choppin, the audio jamming tool, and Mert. 
Batter Bagel. Graphic design suggestions published by Atari Age. Martin wants to especially thank his wife, Claudia, for playing and not hating the game. <laughs> we hope that you enjoy playing Very this game. Very important that your wife not hate the game. Yes, because these can take years <laughs> to make. Half a person's life, yeah. Yes. Um, oh, we hope yes. that you enjoy playing the game as much as we enjoyed making it. Let's oh. read about the difficulty. Before starting a game... Oh, you're on your last life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should make sure you're selecting the desired difficulty. It can be changed by the title screen by pressing select. Four is the default difficulty and should be fine for people new to the game, but still wanting a challenge. In the lower difficulties, the timer will run out more slowly, and the speed increase upon successfully placing a tile is smaller. In difficulties below four, there are fewer creatures to encounter. Hmm. Back of the box. Assembloids 2600 is a fast-paced yet simple reaction puzzler. Meet Friendly Frog and his friends Jolly Dog, Builder Toad, Ronnie Robot, not to forget all the others. But beware of the evil Score Luck, who will reveal himself to the only best of players. Oh, interesting. Is that the guy at the end? Will you be one of them? I guess so. Maybe evil he's, Score Luck. Maybe he's like the fifth level? He doesn't look very evil. He's smiling. <laughs> is that the Score Luck? No, no, he's that. He looks like a like a happy a fox, or a cat. Yeah. Jolly dog. Oh yeah, friendly frog, jolly dog, builder toad, Ronnie robot. Fun for all ages. Eight mm. skill levels from practice to insanely hard. More than eight creatures to discover. Oh. So. so there's eight. Yeah. So we are nowhere near eight. <laughs> no. So like he's probably the ninth. Okay. Uh, let's put it on. Um, How do you change the... Ah, there we go. Eight skill levels. Let's see what eight is like. Oh, is that super, super hard? Yep. Oh, it go starts going fast really quickly. Oh, but eight is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Well, it barely builds up to time, it. After time, after time. I guess if you're an expert... Oh, no. Not happening. Yeah, I guess if you're an expert, you could possibly do it. You're, you're more just like throwing things into uh, into slots that are just empty. So let's see what level one is I like. I can see it, though, being very meditative after a while. Oh, look at level you're one. Just, you're just... Uh, yeah, nice... You're just staring at the screen, and your brain is working, and, and, and you're just not consciously a part of the game anymore. You're just, yes. like, boom, boom, boom. flipping things into 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 the, the slot it's supposed to be. I mean, you've seen... They're very meditative games like this. Tetris Championships, right? Oh, yeah, they're amazing. Where that's pretty much how it is. It's yeah. boom, 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 yeah. boom. Yeah, their brains work faster than... <laughs> Then yeah. Then I mean, it's seeing. practice. It's practice and hard work. Yes. But... Um, yeah, it's just the, the the tweaking of recognition and where to move things is just so honed, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It's I find what's hard. Yeah. Um, it's easy to recognize where there's a space. Yeah. But Less. when when you remove one of the guys, it's almost like you forget you can put it into the empty space. I don't oh. know if that makes sense, but like, like my, my brain filled? skips a little over that blank space, and I think, oh, well, where do I put this part? Oh, the only place it can go is in that blank space. And yes. it's, like, it's like quickly recognizing that and moving it into that spot. Now this, the timer isn't even a factor. At oh, this, it's, at this it's, point. it's child mode. Is yeah, what it's it pretty is. much... <laughs> Good for kids. Yeah, good for from, kids. It's actually a great matching game. Yeah. <laughs> for kids. Yeah. Um, when you have it on level one. So what is um, probably not a great game to play if you're red, green, colorblind. No. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, not. why, why, why is my score so bad? <laughs> yeah. Um, just can't seem to match. No. It's only two colors. Yeah. It's, or three. it's gray yeah. matching with gray. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that wouldn't work so well. Um, 
some, um, I don't know about Atari 2600 programmers, but I know on some more modern systems like, you know, PS4 and Xbox, they do take into consideration um, colors for people who are colorblind. Oh, really? Um, to make sure that there isn't a problem mm. when playing the game. Um, but very few you would need that kind of consideration. But, um, I mean, different people also see colors, like even the gradation in colors differently. Some people can see a very light change in, say, blue color, and other people can't. And so sometimes it does make the definition of things hard to hard to make out. Yeah. Ooh, all the choices I have. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I don't know if they actually give you easier pieces, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be any no, easier. No, it seems rather random, but... Yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily... And it doesn't it seem is, to be but... fighting against you either, like giving no. you terrible pieces. It always... It's not like Tetris. It gives you pieces you can use every time. Mm. Um, it's not like giving you... It won't give you a piece that won't go anywhere. It won't, because you lose it won't a life. sabotage you. Yeah. It won't... That's one thing I noticed is like if there's half of a face in all of the four squares, it won't give you that half of the face. It won't sabotage you and make no. you die. No. Because um, that, that wouldn't be much fun. No. <laughs> Forcing you to die with no option. Okay. Yeah. This level is, is nothing. I think the level that... <laughs> like level four is is a good level. Can you get an extra? An extra what? <laughs> extra life? I think uh, I think it did. I didn't notice. Can you look in the manual to see what um, at what level? Sure. Get an extra life at? Uh, or what score? If that, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, oh, there are four creatures you can encounter. They but change, it says eight on the back, though. They change every thousand points you get. Oh, oh, they change it. There are more, but you will have to find them yourself. So there must be the odd, random, fancy creature that pops up. Oh. As like a little bonus. Yeah. Just once in a while. A little creature bonus. Well, we haven't made it past. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't oh. found one yet. We haven't made it past the fourth level, so first have to do that. Mm. But does it give you extra lives? That. Ah! Oh, if I stop dying, we might find that out. But the better you do, the faster you get through levels. Doesn't imply that you get extra lives anywhere. So you may so not. So your lives are your. What you start out with is yeah. that's it. I mean, that's not to say that maybe if you hit hit a certain threshold you'll get an extra life but usually they tell you uh, i think we've seen up to here haven't we hmm. ah I keep i don't run out of time i i usually put the piece in the wrong spot That's usually the problem I get. Yeah. No, I definitely... I don't see anything about gaining extra lives. Hmm. Oh, see we've got... Uh, what's this guy called? This guy... It's like a frog builder? He... Frog the builder? Uh... Uh. Uh. He's cute. I like him with the hat. He is cute. Now um... I'm in the robots again. I think I already got the robots. I think I've gone so more than four levels. That. He would be Builder Toad. Okay, that makes sense. He's Builder got the toad. hat. Oh God. Mm -hmm. and that's Ronnie Robot, uh, I think. Ah! Uh. Still haven't beat mm -hmm. my score. Very close, yeah, I think. Were you at 26 something? No, I was at 30. Oh. I was pretty sure I was at 30. 36. Ah. I was like, where does that go? None of the spots are left. Ah. Uh, 
37. I, I definitely got high score I think there. you beat your high score. 37. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Are you good? Do you want to play one more? I can play done? one more. Okay. That's pretty fun. Yep. So to answer your question, Eric, Eric the Jerk, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you can get an extra life. Um, so you start out with five, and that's all you have. But it is... Um, usually in games you do get extra lives. But this this one you do not. I guess they feel that they're generous enough that you do not get an extra life. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say. It just says the process repeats until all lives are lost. And it would be... Oh no, right there. Clearing all target windows gives 500 points and an extra life. So that's really, really hard to what? get an extra life. Clearing, say all that again? All four windows. All at the same time? Or, well, oh, no. so there's no, there's no so piece. there's no pieces there. Yeah, so, that would be a lot of luck, I think. <laughs> mostly luck. That's really hard. I've, we haven't done it once. Not even on the easiest level have I done that. Like it's, it's totally luck. So getting extra lives is a little, I mean, there is skill. You have to build them properly. You can't just throw things. As much as you um, might want to. Yeah, which is usually my strategy on the higher levels, to throw wherever it lands and hopefully you build something. Um, so yes, yes, you can get an extra life, but it's unbelievably hard. Really, really, really hard. Actually, what, what did it say? And it gives 500 points, which I would think you should get a lot more points than 500 <laughs> for clearing all of them. I agree. Considering you get 300 for just building a one out of four, um, completing a full colored one. But if you have kids, I would definitely recommend this game. Yeah, this, this is, is really a, good for kids. It's a really nice, simple game to play, too. Like, there's, there's nothing so, complicated about it. No, we figured it out without the instructions. Yeah. And if you set it on level one, you have tons of time to think about where to put things. And it's got cute little characters. Yes. And yeah, just a really nice little game. But yeah, when it gets up. Oh. oh. I hit it just a touch too late for that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one more to go. Oh, see? Yeah, it's very hard to do. Actually, you don't... All you have to do is clear them. You don't have to match them. No. Okay, that's a little bit simpler. Not... That would be impressive if be, you could match match all the colors, but... Yeah. So now if you keep them... One more! There you go. Extra life. Ooh. Oh, and it flashed on the screen. So did I get an extra life? You did. You did. Excellent. Okay, so it's not that as hard as we thought. No, no, it, it, it so isn't. You just have to time things lucky. and get lucky. Because you could have made it if you had a right hand um, robot head at that point, but oh, you do have man. to get lucky. Yeah. And and be very strategic about where you're placing it and keep not just throw them out everywhere. See, now you can do it because it. Yeah, it's it's kind of I wonder specifically. If, I wonder if there's any um, <laughs> anything in the game that kind of doesn't, if it's completely random, or it's it keeps track of. Oh, it's gonna give you. Oh, <gasps> I got an octopus. Got an octopus. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Cute. Aww. So now we've seen one of the bonus guys. And I think I've beaten your high score. You definitely have beaten my high score. <laughs> that is for sure. Uh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, I really like these guys. Yeah. Really nice characters. Oh, my oh, brain. Oh, the timer is like just going nuts. It does. It gets moving really fast after a while. I mean, in a way, that's that's forcing you to lose lose your lives, right? Yeah. It has to get harder, and that's the way it get. It could, that's the only way it can get harder is the timer. Otherwise, you just have tons of time to do anything you want. Oh, I 
think it is. <laughs> it's, I, I, I think swear. there is some programming there. Cause <laughs> it, it didn't give you many le right hand legs. I noticed, and you needed two right hand legs. So I think there is a little bit of programming in there Possibly. to not give you until it has to give you yes. something. Yeah. No, that was good. I like that. I like the octopus. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very lucky. So. Out of the three games we played today, um, which one did you like the most? There was, uh, there was A-Star, Elevator's a Miss, and Assembloid. So which one would you go back to first? I, I wasn't so keen on the Elevator game. Yeah. That kind of speed and timing. I, I'm generally... Like, that style doesn't appeal to me as much. Right. I really like the Assembloids. I think that's the kind of game you could just, like, get into, like, a mental yeah. meditative state where you've been playing it for three hours and haven't realized it. Because it's so simple and easy, and yet you, you, you're pushed to keep going with it. Yeah. Um, I, also, I also really like the puzzle game. Um, I think that's one... Um, Oops, I forgot to change the graphics. I'll do it now. I think that's one that has a lot of... What graphics? Because I. There we go. Uh, <laughs> to the assembly. I um, usually forget because we're getting into the games. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, I I also like the first one. I can see myself. The A star. Yeah, yeah like p spending a lot of time on a game like that because it's just little puzzles. And again, like that's a nice time killer is just to play little puzzles. Yeah. Um, At one point, I would probably sit down with A star, and go through all of them. All yeah. the puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Because there is a finite set of them. Yeah, yeah. No, I can see myself playing that. I think that is a lot of re repeat play. I do like Assembloids, though. Yes. Um, and you can work your way up to it, like starting at like level one, then two, yeah. then three, and yeah. then four. I don't think I'd want to go past four, yeah. but you could. Yeah. No, I, I really like both of them. It's not that the I didn't like the elevator game, but that style of game has never mm. appealed to me as much, it, which is just... Yeah. It, it can get really frustrating after a while when it's like you're just on the edge and oh you died and you start over and, <laughs> and I don't know what it is but um, I mean so same with assembloids but I think yes. it's a little it's simpler it's a little bit simpler to progress it is and um, so that and your game plays a little bit longer I think so I do like that a big factor it is yeah is the ramp up difficulty level yeah and I think the elevator's a miss the difficulty on the default setting is pretty is hard. a little hard yeah like it's hard on level one yeah usually in level one you should be able to just go through it however you do have your other options for difficulty <laughs> levels so you, you can do. do the novice which actually ramps up the elevators which i think is actually a good way to start playing the game it would be because it, a it adds because one every you're time. progressing through the levels and you're slight you're making it slowly yeah you know more um more difficult as you go so that's yeah. my that's my feeling how about you what oh. do you think <laughs> um what would you which games would you I go like back to all of them i think a, i would play either a star or elevators a miss first yeah elevators a miss because i think i would start it on a lower level like okay. the novice yeah and ramp up yeah and your skill level would get better as you do that too. Yeah, it's hard to kind of just throw yourself. And I think into the it. default is too hard. Yeah. Um, to start with, um, they maybe should have started a little bit lower. Um, and a star because I have a need to finish all the levels. <laughs> I think <laughs> that would be fun to just go through. I all would of do them. that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and probably assembloids has the least replay value for me. Um, even though it is fun, it just, it's very, uh, seems like a very small game to me. It is. It's and it's, it's a kind of, I, I think it's the kind of game you can play for five minutes or 10 minutes Yeah. and like be satisfied with it, Yeah. but it's not a game you're going to spend two hours playing. No, it's um, going to be a short However, game. when I saw that octopus come up, I did get very excited <laughs> like, because oh, there's, there? there's something like, oh, this is, oh, this is different. And then, then it does make you want to collect all of the, all of the little guys. So the I think that's um, ninth one. a pretty smart little bit of extra, um, uh, programming in the game like yeah. a little little a little bonus a little bonus 
you know, to keep you going. So I do like that. I think that's really cute. Now, what did they call the the bonus guy? Because he said they said there are four cre four. Yeah. These are four of the creatures you can encounter. Yeah. And we saw those over and over again. Yeah. For every thousand, uh, they change. Every thousand points. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There are more, but you'll have to try and find them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it did say something about a bonus guy somewhere. I'm wondering if I got that. But it that, doesn't even show. I got that new guy because I cleared the whole board, too. Like, that also could be a trigger for it. So Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe. But that was pretty cool. Yeah. Where did I read that? Oh. Beware of the evil Scorlock who will reveal himself to only the best of players. But how do you know what the evil Scorlock is? Maybe. Was it? Maybe it was the evil Scorlock. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. that's what the octopus was. He didn't I look evil. All the guys look no, really... No, he, he looked more evil than the other guys. Like, the other guys are all smiling. All the guys look really, really happy and I thought, smiling. I thought, so he, I, would say I thought they were pretty smiley. So I think an evil one would be a frowny guy. And the octopus was not a frowny guy. Was he not frowny? I can't no. remember now. I was too busy assembling him. I, I wasn't paying attention to his face. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I thought he was pretty cute. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, and, and this is a simple game too. Like this is, as you say, is a game you could give a, a child and they would yes. play quite happily for a while. Definitely. It's very so when simple. our yeah. nieces or nephews are yeah. over, this is one we could actually yeah. show to them. Yeah. And yeah. they would probably like it. Yeah. To a certain age. Like probably up to. Well, yeah. The younger ones ten, would. The older ones would be eight, like nine, ten. I want. I want. Like, I want to play a first-person shooter. So yes, get away from they me, would not. So. <laughs> they would probably no. not be interested in any of these. No. Probably some of these other ones like that. Yeah. That have a little bit more action to them, but this is no. too too simple. Yeah. This would be a good game for like a school lower level schools if if they wanted to show them a matching yeah game on a computer. You yeah. could put this on a tablet really easily with swiping down left right yeah this would be a good it good would be tablet an easy game. simple yeah um yeah and and younger kids i find you know they 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 games like this appeal to them you know yeah. they don't nothing you don't need the fancy graphics they just like little puzzle games it's actually better that there's not fancy graphics it's simple because it's yeah you're not distracted yeah because we my nephew was visiting we were well we were visiting them and his he fell in love with what was it Castlevania three three yes <laughs> which is like a super hard game and he just kept dying over and over again but getting better and better and yeah better and, and understanding and more he would and just more. die and die and die but because you would respawn right at the point of death that yep. that didn't phase him he just kept playing yep. and I think he loved the monsters in it yes he loved it yep. and like it but you wouldn't. I don't think you any would adults think. would would gravitate to that game <laughs> over other games because we were we were playing a whole bunch of um, of older games Nintendo with him. games Nintendo level games and he he, he totally loved Castlevania he liked three some of the shooters but the Castlevania was his favorite yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so we're done for today um, so thanks for joining us on the live stream um, probably the next live stream will be next friday unless i want to jump in and just uh play a game impromptu during one day um so definitely uh what is it on stream like subscribe or something <laughs> anyway click the little heart or whatever so that, <laughs> so that you can be notified um of when we jump on and usually on fridays it's around 2 p.m 2 p.m to 4 p.m pacific time so that's 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but it varies. We try and keep it there. Um, so until next time, thank you and goodbye. And um, check out our the Facebook page, the Instagram, and the Twitter as well. They're all Zero Page Homebrew, except for Twitter, which is Zero Page Homebrew, because it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> There's no W. Very sad. So until they extend it out, that's what it's going to be. Um, so... See you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.